Would you look at that? The citizens of Yulemore engaging in what can only be described as manual labor. Who would have thought it possible? Do you know the most reliable way to deal with those who stubbornly refuse to see reason? You conquer them, crush them under heel. Such was the trusted method of Alec, and one still favored by Garlemald. But conquest is the easy part. The true challenge begins once the dust has settled, quenching the glowing embers of animosity and maintaining a semblance of peace. This requires the conqueror to treat the conquered with dignity and the conquered to let bygones be bygones, a difficult feat to achieve. But you have achieved just that, to my considerable surprise. It's a compliment. Take it. Ah, the vibrant energy that fills the air when like-minded souls gather. To think back on that time before time. Fair brings a tear to the eye. What? You thought ancient beings like us incapable of crying? Well, rest assured that if your heart can be broken, then so can mine. Back when the world was whole, we had famine, friends, loves. Men knew peace and contentment, and with our adamant souls, we could live for an age. There was no conflict born of want or disparity. Our differences paled into insignificance next to all we had in common. And then there was Amarant. Never was a city more magnificent. From the humblest streets to the highest spires, she fairly gleamed. Not that you would remember any of this. Never mind. The point is, the world of old was a far better place than what we have now. I believe you would like it, having witnessed the things you have. Remember, you are of the source. Unlike the half-men here, you stand only to gain. Should you survive the remaining calamities, you will become our equal, a complete existence in a complete world. But such talk is a pleasure for later. Back to work, hero. Ah, there was one thing I had meant to ask. How well do you know the Exarch? Has he ever deigned to show you what hides beneath the cow? What? Never? Even to you? How very interesting. I shall enjoy working out what it means. Until next time. Oh, I knew you could do it, dearest. I never doubted you for a moment. It's alive. I don't know if you remember, but when we first met in this world, I 
I was all but spent. I never thought to wonder why until now. I think it all just got to be too much. The guilt of causing the flood. Knowing everyone hated me. But the worst thing was the solitude. Time wears you down, I. But solitude eats away at you. It was this close to finishing me off. But as bad as it got, and as empty as I felt, I can't even begin to imagine what it must be like for Emmett's self. All of which is a long way of saying, don't make a choice that leaves you alone. Nothing is worth that, especially not eternity. Glad tidings, my friend. The ladder lives again. The three of us have been invited to do the honors. Are you up for it? Of course, if you're worried that the whole thing might come crashing down, we can always find someone else. That's the spirit. Come on, then. We rode the ladder too, my comrades and I. Once upon a time. Watch the horizon grow and the town shrink below us. Awed and terrified in equal measure, we ascended without a word, the silence broken only by the rhythm of the gears. No one but me remembers that day. Remembers our journey and our end. Retread the path. Seek and you may yet find. <laughs>